What's up guys, my name is Sam from Live Production Tips and Tools and today we're gonna take a look at the new live producer design for Facebook Live. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps on how you can live stream using Facebook Live with the new live producer design. Okay, so let's not take much time, let's get right into it. So this is my page, uh, it's already open. So um, assuming that this would be your page. So basically we are going to create a live video. Uh, you can start from here actually um, under create post and go to live, okay? And as you can see here, they are telling you about the new live producer design and facebook is is actually giving you an option to switch back to the older version if you feel not comfortable using the new design okay but i'm gonna walk you through it it doesn't look really complicated uh it looks actually very simple once you get here as you can see you get um you get this home camera icon and under home camera icon you can see that you have the name of your page okay and um it says the host you know which is you hosting this live stream so it's gonna be the name of your page obviously and then uh, under that they tell you or they ask you to choose where to post so you have an option to post to pages that you manage okay so basically if you have multiple pages uh, like me you can uh, post to uh, different pages okay it doesn't have to be on your page only uh, you have an option to actually go live right now or schedule a live video event so you can schedule it for later under this the schedule you have create a test broadcast before you go live so you can test uh if you want to do a test live stream you can do it here so basically we're gonna click next okay so as we click next we get to a new page that looks a little familiar okay with three options uh, the first one is to go live using a camera so if you had a webcam this is where you actually uh, set it up your webcam should show up here okay but since uh for this stream i don't have a webcam so we're gonna be using obs most of the time and if you're using obs like me or any other um, software encoder then this is the option that you will choose okay you can also use a paired encoder you know something like if you had an atm mini pro or something that is already paired you know that is kind of like a hardware encoder so you use uh, this option uh, for the purpose of this video we're gonna take this option which is use a stream key uh, that we're gonna take uh, back to obs and basically what we're gonna do here uh, assuming you know how to use obs if you don't I'm gonna put some links down below for uh, you know how to use OBS. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna need this stream key, okay? So basically, you're gonna uh, copy, okay, this stream key. This is the most important thing that you need. And then you're gonna go back to OBS. I have my OBS open already, okay? I just have this uh, generic um, page or welcome page that we're just gonna use just for demonstration for the purpose of this video then i'm gonna go click to settings okay in obs go to stream and then uh, i'm gonna choose facebook live here on the top for service and then i'm gonna actually uh, delete the stream key that was in here and then paste the new stream key and then apply and then click ok once I click OK, uh, all I have to do is just uh, click Start Streaming, okay? Once I start streaming, uh, I should see whatever that I have going on in OBS should appear here, okay? So as you can see, it's already uh, getting the feed from uh, OBS, okay? So once you're here, you can see what's going on in OBS. Uh, what you have to do is you click Next, then it's gonna require you to add you know the, the name of your stream or the title so let's say the title is just test stream 
okay and description they say this is just a test okay and then after that you can see you have more options you can you have option to cross post to more pages so if you have more pages you can actually post this live stream to uh, more than just one uh, page if you have uh, groups uh, you part of groups facebook groups so you have some groups that you own you can also do that so you can post some uh, into some of your groups okay you also have an option to add a group to promote uh, you have audience settings uh, you have an option to choose uh, if you have age restrictions you know that kind of stuff or you can just leave it public if you don't have any restrictions uh, if you have some locations where you don't want your content to be displayed for some reasons you can do that as well so um i guess for this video we're not gonna go through that or if you are gaming you have more options for uh gamers okay so you can tag a game here you know all that kind of stuff okay so once we're done setting up everything basically the most important thing here for me i would say is the title of the stream the description of your stream and and the sharing option you know sharing to a page or into a group so once you're done click next so as you can see we are ready to go live okay uh, the only thing uh, as you can see we have all the options some of the options we just went through okay we have the live video uh, details okay and we have settings here and we have uh, interactivity and we have distribution okay so these are the most important um, uh, options that you have and if you can see if you go back to post details these are just title and description all the stuff that we just entered uh, earlier okay and if say, I can just close and if I go to settings you can see it's about your stream okay so like you know your stream latency uh, you can choose if you want your video to be embedded uh, you know into a website or any other thing okay and then you have viewer so you have all these options for viewers you know allow viewers to rewind uh turn on auto generated captions so these are like some settings for viewers okay and then uh you have comments you have live tab okay so if we go to if we go to comments you can see how people are going to comment you know the whole chat thing and then uh, the last thing is the interactivity uh, as you can see we have polls okay if you need to have some polls for your live stream questions you have settings you can ask questions uh, to your audience uh, you have options for graphics this is something that is very very useful if you want to uh, let's say have some lower thirds or you want to have some scrolling text uh, all that kind of stuff you, you want to have your logo displayed here so this is gonna be in another video I've actually made a video about this before so I'm gonna link it down below for you guys if you want to learn how the whole thing works okay other than that we have uh, prompts in this tab this is where you can feature some links like you know for if you want to link a video on YouTube or website uh you know all that kind of stuff okay and then uh, after that we have distribution which is basically where you're gonna share your uh, live stream we went through that earlier so once everything is all set okay all you have to do is just go live and boom and as you can see we are live now on facebook so if i click to dashboard as you can see I'm live if I go to my Facebook page uh, as you can see the video is live right now okay so basically once you're done uh, with your live streaming so you know you still have to go back to OBS and do all the kind of juicy stuff depending on what you live streaming once you're done all you have to do is just end your video and click end and that will be it so guys this is the walkthrough of the new 
live producer uh, design from Facebook. To me, it looks really simple. It's simpler than what we had before. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. As I said, if you're new to OBS and you don't know how to use OBS, I'm gonna put some links down below for you. Other than that, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you like it and subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Take care.